As the East African community works towards total implementation of most protocols and usher in the political confederation, civil society organizations have been employed to promote citizen participation in the integration process through sensitization about benefits that come with the integration. This comes at a time when efforts to have a regional constitution are at the tail end, yet citizen participation in the integration process is rated below average. Julius Maganda Wandera, the State Minister for East African Affairs, says all is set to ensure that by 2024, the East African Constitution will have been put in place, as well as the Monetary Union. We intend to have the, the, the East African Statistics Institute, and out of that it will now prepare for us to have the East African Central Bank, which will now begin issuing the single currency for East Africa. So this Richard Sewachi Young of NGO Forum says participation of non-state actors is still wanting due to the lack of a recognized platform. The issue about this celebration is not just about celebrating, but it's about reflecting and asking ourselves the question, what do we do to actually make sure that the integration process in East Africa becomes much more citizens. Commenting on the suspension of the 21st Heads of State Summit that was slated for this Monday, Minister Wandela justified why the meeting could not take place, especially now that most East African member countries have registered a coronavirus case. The summit has been postponed until further notes, until when we are sure that the, the region is more secure for us to hold such public meetings. Otherwise, as for now, the, the council is running, the ministers are doing their work, uh, because for them, there are few. There are five and they can easily be managed in the way they do their kind of meetings and sessions. We have also withdrawn that uh, we might be doing the video conferencing as one way of addressing where we feel we don't want to meet physically, we can meet on video conference. So the it's worth noting that this is the third time the East African Heads of State Summit is being suspended, although previously it was due to lack of quorum. Lydia Chomkama and Esther Chitiwa reporting for UBC.